What up YouTube, it's your boy Savio back at it again with another reaction video and today we are going to be doing another League of Legends video because you guys seem to be enjoying that content. Uh, the last two League videos that I made on Giants by True Damage featuring a bunch of artists were really well received so I'm making another requested video. Um, someone told me that I should react to this video because this is League's version of Harley Quinn. Now, I've seen this character before because this character is six years old and I'm a nerd. So, of course, I've seen a million cosplayers cosplay as this character, but I've never seen the video. I've never heard the song that goes with it. So, we're gonna be seeing if both of those things are good, if they're great, if they're trash, and people just like this character because she's hot and she's crazy, which, yes, that is enough to like characters. We'll get into that more later. But I'm interested to see how this whole process goes, what they decided to do. I was really, really impressed with Giants. And so even though this was six years ago at this point, I don't think that it will be terrible because I don't think you go from terrible to great. I don't know if it will be as good. They may have gotten better over this six year process, but let's get into it and let's figure it out. Alrighty guys, see you on the other side. Okay, so already uh, she comes in literally surfing on a missile. I'm loving that. There is graffiti on the missiles. This one has like the ha ha ha's, kind of like Joker, especially like Joker from Suicide Squad, which might have been around the time that this came out originally, where he had like the ha ha ha's tattooed on him. The one behind her has tally marks, which might be her kill count. And the first one we saw had like the, the huge smiley face with the sharp teeth, which again is very Joker reminiscent. It's also kind of reminiscent of like the, I'm, I'm not great with history, but I think it's like World War II era fighter pilots who used to draw like shark faces on their planes. So that's pretty cool. The song that came in, uh, pretty heavy bass line right there. And the singer said something like, wanna come play but I might shoot you in the face, which, yeah, uh, that that seems very on brand so far for what uh, this character seems to be and from what I've got explained this character's reminiscent of. So lyrics, song, video, so far already good, but uh, yeah, crazy. <laughs> So the, the um, what are they called? Like cl clapping symbol monkey toys? Maybe, I don't, I don't know what they're, they're officially called, but those little monkey toys that have haunted the nightmare of children all over the world is a perfect combination for her because she is, is creepy and cute and those toys are toys they're they're creepy terrifying is what they are but they're toys they're supposed to be fun to play with and she's a character in a game she's supposed to be fun to play with even though she's horrifying also during that section right there it was clapping the symbols on beat with the kick in the background which was a nice little touch there As far as the, wow, she looks to be having so much fun. Um, as far as the song itself, this is 
this is a really smartly made song from the standpoint of the song the the drum beat in the background has emphasis on the two and the four which means it has a snare every other note in the measure so it's kick snare kick snare kick snare kick snare which is a very like 80s pop dance beat kind of feeling it gives you the feeling of energy it makes you want to get up and dance for example uh a lot of like michael jackson like like billy jean from thriller you know the one of the most dancey songs ever has emphasis on the two and the four so it gives you a lot of energy but at the same time the singer is delivering a very like creepy and almost ominous vocals it's it's downright uncomfortable if you heard someone talking to you like this in everyday society if you were walking through a walmart and someone was just staring at you with this look talking like that you would run hopefully um so it's it's kind of this this dichotomy between the the creepiness of the lyrics and the delivery of the vocals with the energy of the, the, the delivery of the vocals with the energy of the actual composition of the music itself and it creates this i don't know if i'm scared or or happy kind of feel and that is what this character is supposed to make you feel That was really cool. That was, that was really cool. The whole rhino, like, graffitied up thing. I think it had it, like, toenails painted, too. Um, but, yeah, she, you know, Harley has her hyenas. She has her rhino and baboons. I mean, I I get the comparisons. Personally, she actually kind of reminds me a little bit more stylistically to Duella Dent, which is, like, Joker's daughter or, like, the female Joker. But I get it. She's a she's a hot, crazy chick who likes to make things go boom or bang. If you blew up the sun, we would all die immediately. Like when when the sun explodes, the earth is is gone. It's just for the record. That's a great shot. That's a really, really great shot. Like the, the bathtub with the bullets. She has like her little skulls carved on the bullet. That's a great shot. Like, man. Man. So, I know you guys are here for like the musical analysis, I really don't care about what I think about her character design, but I'm going to give it to you anyway because this is my YouTube channel, so suck it up. I've seen, again, I've seen cosplays of this character on Instagram or at conventions or whatever. Um, I've even seen tattoos of this character at this point, but like to see her in this this trailer, music video, you know, whatever it is, her her character design is perfectly what I would describe as creepy cute. And that's how I describe like pastel goth characters or pastel goth girls who I know, where like, for example, her minigun that she loves so much is hot pink and it has little cat ears on it. Or the fact that she has a pink grenade, but that it has like, like a bear trap kind of mouth on it. It's just like small details like that. It, don't go to unmissed by me. Um, so I think that it's her design is is really great. Oh, she was asleep.
pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. That was that was pretty cool. I definitely get why she's been compared to Harley and why she, I guess, is considered the league Harley Quinn. She also reminds me of a couple other like crazy but still hot characters from anime, which is like my nerdy thing of choice, that in comics. Um, so like she also reminds me of like Toga from My Hero Academia, who's like super popular right now. And um, Yuno Gasai from Future Diary, who's like the ultimate Yandere. If you don't know what that is, just Urban Dictionary, it, you'll, you'll, you'll get what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, I, I get it. I get why she's so popular. Me personally, I don't love characters like this from the standpoint of in today's society, these characters are being pumped out like crazy in pop culture, you know, just the the crazy but hot characters. And I think it is in part due to the success of characters like Harley Quinn and probably like Jinx, I, I think is her name, because this character came out six years ago. So this is less a reflection on her, but the current day and age that we live in. But I feel that a lot of the characters that are pumped out now are pumped out as archetypes or as tropes. Whereas, say for example, a character like Harley, she's written much deeper. Like it's not just, oh, she's crazy and she's hot. Ha 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 ha. Like did she, when she's written, they go into why it is that she is crazy, the, the mental illness behind it and the way that she sees the world and the fact that it's not necessarily a good thing that she is a homicidal maniac and her being attractive isn't the main focus of her character or her being crazy isn't her whole character and so i feel like now a lot of times the characters that we do get are i guess 2d in that way um i don't know anything about this character from a like game standpoint again i don't play this game but I know that she's popular because I've seen her everywhere and so she's probably helped usher in this wave of everyone is crazy and hot now but it is what it is that's my personal opinion um, if you differ I'm sure you'll tell me in the comment section down below as far as the song itself I did really really like the song for her I didn't necessarily love the song like unlike Giants I'm not especially gonna go play that again after this i'm not going to add it to my playlist but i think the song does a really great job of encapsulating what it is that she's supposed to be as a character which is again upbeat and energetic yet completely psycho i mean even at the end um in the outro of the song where they have like this super super distorted just random guitar notes just firing off in the background to create that obvious that ambiance of chaos and hysteria it just it works it works really really well and so even though i don't love the song i love the song for what it was supposed to do but again everybody has their different opinions i would love to hear yours in the comment section down below i will be reacting to a lot more league songs because again i'm impressed with what they're doing and i like their characters so i mean just just to just to put it bluntly they look cool their videos are super super highly produced and i'm enjoying making this content so if you'd like to see any more of that definitely make sure to leave some recommendations in the comment section down below and subscribe to the channel to see more Alrighty, guys i'll see you next time peace